Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the video on how to fill your palette with tube paints. This one I got for my daughter. It has a nice removable tray. It's nice and large and we will be filling it with these awesome tube paints. I love tube paints. They're so economical. You're gonna need a paper towel and some water and also some uh, sandpaper. And I'll show you why in a minute. This little thing is helpful and I'll show you that as well. If you don't have that, you can use a toothpick. So this is why we're going to use sandpaper because these little chunks, if they dry and they're too smooth, they can just pop out if, you're, if your surface is too smooth. So take some sandpaper, scratch these guys out and it will rough up the surface enough to cause enough friction to have the paint adhere to the plastic. You're gonna to wanna to do this on all of the wells that you're putting paint into. And then I like to take a wetted paper towel to wipe out the extra particles. You can also do this with an X-Acto knife. Same process. Wipe them clear. You don't want any little plastic bits in there and you're good to go. This is a little pin and you can use a toothpick. I will show you what that's for. You're basically going to squeeze these paints into your wells and then you'll use that little tool to mix it around and make it flat so that your paint isn't blobby. I love to have my kids help me with this. I think it gives them a sense of ownership if it's their palette. To me, it just makes sense for them to help filling it. Okay, for example, this came out pretty solid. So that's why we use this little metal tool to mix it around. And it will flatten it enough so that the brush doesn't have to glide over it awkwardly as you are picking pigment up once it dries because it will dry into this weird solid shape. So help it to dry in a less weird solid shape. <laughs> This Viridian was giving us a hard time, so we had to spend more time mixing that one. Always wipe that tool off though. You never wanna take it with paint going into the next cake. Once you're done, please set it to dry. This might mean that you need to put it up on a high shelf while it's drying, and then put your tubes away. And I use a little Tupperware container for that. So once your paint is dry, it will take a few hours it might even take a couple days depending on what the season is. That is when you can shut the lid and store it. I store my stuff in a nice little Tupperware container like this and even my tube paints I put in there as well for refills. So that's it. That's how we fill our palettes. Now let me know how you fill your palette or please let me know if you have any questions about what pigments I use or anything like that. I love to help. Thanks so much, guys. I'll talk to you later.